Hello everybody, welcome back. Do you like to eat pancakes? Of course you do. And if you eat pancakes, you need syrup, right? You need syrup on your pancakes. It's that brown, thick liquid that's very sweet that makes your pancakes really delicious. Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn where syrup comes from. This book is titled The Maple Harvest. Two words here, maple. What is maple? Maple is a kind of tree. These trees are maple trees. So we're going to talk about these trees in this book. We're going to learn more about these trees. Now we also have this word, harvest. Harvest. Harvest means when you take some food from plants that you grow. Trees are plants, right? Rice is a plant. Corn is a plant. So in the fall, usually farmers will go into their fields and take the food from the plants. They'll take the rice or they'll take the corn or whatever food it is. They'll harvest the food. So the maple harvest, they're taking food from the trees. That's where syrup comes from. So when we learn about this subject, these are the contents. This is the table of contents. And this is what we're going to learn in this lesson. Let's go over it together. Times for the maple harvest. Remember, I gave you the example. Farmers go into the field in the fall, in the autumn, to get the rice or to get the corn. But what about maple syrup? What about maple harvest? Well, there will be times. What time do they go? Do they go in the fall? Do they go in a different time of the year? We'll find out in this chapter on page two. The next one is collecting the sap. Now, here we have a word that you probably don't know. Sap. Sap. If you look at a plant, any plant, and you, if it's a small plant, you can break it or break it, uh, part of the plant off. You can see there's some kind of liquid or some kind of water inside. Yeah, it's some water, but there's also, it's like juice, right? Well, sap is a type of juice or water that is inside a tree, right? Now, don't do this, but if you did, if, a, if somebody cuts a tree, once you cut into the tree, you can see that it's kind of moist. There's a little bit of water in there. But don't do that just to see because that's not good for the tree. But anyway, there's sap inside the tree. There's some kind of juice in the tree. Then we see the sugar house. Hmm, that looks interesting. The sugar house. That's a house where they have sugar. We'll learn about that on page six. Then we'll see how they make maple syrup. Of course, we can see it has something to do with the sap, the juice inside the maple tree. How do they make maple syrup? We'll find out on page eight. Then we'll have a fun chapter, time to eat, right? Time to eat. What can we eat with maple syrup? What can we use maple syrup to make? What kinds of food can we make with maple syrup? We'll find that out in this chapter on page 10. And then of course, at the end of the book, we have our glossary where we can review the important words we learned in this book. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go to Canada because that is where many maple trees are. In fact, did you know this important fact down here? The maple leaf is on the Canadian flag. There are many, many maple trees in Canada. So many maple trees that they put the, f the leaf, that's the leaf from the maple tree is on the Canadian flag because Canada has many, many, many maple trees. So there's many maple trees in Canada. It's a great place to make maple syrup. But when? When do they make the maple syrup? <clears throat> it's time for the maple harvest. Time. What time? It is the end of winter in Canada. Ah, the end of winter in Canada. So the end of winter means spring is coming soon. When is the end of winter? 
around the end of February or the beginning of March. But remember, Canada has a very long winter, so maybe it's in March sometime, maybe middle March or end of March. <clears throat> this family, this family, these are the girls of the family. This family is going to a maple farm, right? A farm, of course, is where people grow food. This is a maple farm. They're, they grow maple trees and they get the syrup from the maple trees at this farm. They will see how maple syrup is made. There's our word, one of our words right there. Syrup, of course you know syrup. I told you before at the beginning of this lesson, the syrup is the hot, uh, it's sometimes hot, it's the thick brown sweet liquid that you pour onto your pancakes. It's thick, it's brown, and it's very, very sweet. It makes your pancakes taste very good. So they want to see how maple syrup is made. We'll go with them and we'll find out too, okay? Okay, maple syrup is made from sap. Now before, remember I told you, sap is the juice inside trees. We'll see how they get that juice out of the trees later on. The sap is harvested from sugar maple trees. This is a special type of tree. It's a sugar maple tree. It's a sweet tree. Can you imagine a tree of sugar? It's not that. <laughs> that would be cool, huh? You go in the forest and you can lick the trees. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> They're not like that. They are sweet on the inside, and you have to do some many things to make it sweet. So, so don't lick the trees in Canada. But anyway, the sap is harvested. Remember that word I taught you, harvested. It's when the farmer goes into the field and takes the food from the plants or whatever they're growing, right? So they harvest the food, they get the food from the plants. So the sap is harvested from sugar maple trees. Sugar maple trees grow well in Canada. That's what I said before. There are many, many maple trees in Canada. So many that they put the maple leaf on their flag. So they grow very well in Canada. It's the right conditions, right? It's lots of land, good air, the right temperatures. They apparently like cold temperatures because Canada is quite cold. Okay. Now, collecting the sap. How do they get the sap from the tree? Look at this picture. Do you see anything strange? We see a building, we see trees, and we see something strange. What are these? These are buckets. There's buckets hanging on the trees, okay? That's a little strange, right? But these buckets are used to collect, to collect the sap. The sap goes into the bucket and the farmer can get the sap out of the bucket, okay? So, sugar makers collect the sap. Sugar makers, sugar makers are people. They are a certain type of farmer who collect the sap. We call them sugar makers, okay? It's a special job title, right? Interesting job title. What do you wanna be when you grow up? I wanna be a sugar maker, right? Sounds interesting, okay. Sugar makers collect the sap. They make small holes in the trees. They make small holes. So they don't make a big hole in the tree. That's not good for the tree. Just a small hole. And you can see <clears throat> that they put these very small holes. And maybe this is an old hole right here. It's very small hole that they drill or they put into the tree so the sap can come out. So they make small holes in the trees. They tie buckets to the trees. That's why these buckets are hanging on the trees. You have to tie them so they don't fall down. They tie buckets to the trees. When you tie something, you use wire or string or rope and you tie them. You tie your shoes, right? You tie two pieces of string or wire together so it holds together. The sap runs out the holes. So the sap runs out the holes, it fills the buckets. <clears throat> We can see here that the hole is here, and then you have this here. What is this? This is a sap tube. It's, there's air inside, right? It's, 
empty inside. So when the sap comes out, there is some room. It can go through the tube, right, here, and then it can go there and then into the buckets, okay? So the sap comes out of the tree and down the tube, and then it drops into the buckets, okay? So that is a sap tube. So it's a very, you have to have a special tool to get the sap from the trees. <clears throat> Today, some sugar makers use tubes, not buckets. The tubes run from the trees to a big tank. So in this case, actually, they don't use the buckets, right? In this case, they probably just drill a hole in the tree and the sap runs out into the bucket. But other sugar makers today, they don't use the buckets. Some of them don't use the buckets. They use tubes. And these tubes run out here. And you can have a tube go very far. And you can have a big tank over here. A big tank. What's a tank? Well, if you think about your car, your car needs gas. When you go to the gas station, the juyuso, you put gas into the tank. So the tank is a big, usually metal, container. It can hold a lot of liquid, whether it's gas in your car or syrup from the trees. So the tubes run from the trees to a big tank, and the tank is collected there. And that's, that's easier, right? Because if you use buckets, you have to get each bucket and pour it into a big tank. But if you've got the tubes running to the tank already, that saves a lot of work. That's pretty smart. So the sugar makers in Canada are always using new technology to make their work easier for them. Okay, let's take a break here. We'll come back and we'll learn more about how maple syrup is made.